When I was young, I had a dream and ambition to be a writer. That's really all I wanted to do from as young as I can remember. I was four years old, stapling colored pieces of construction paper together. And then as I got older, that evolved to writing short stories and then obviously to writing some longer stories. Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Hyla Home. Here we talk about motherhood, natural living, and homemaking, which includes renovating our 1940s home. Today I wanted to take some time to introduce who I am. We're starting off this channel and really have no following at this point and I just want to explain a little bit about my goals with starting this channel as well as just my passions and dreams for me as a person. And I'll be honest, it feels a little bit weird um, introducing myself when I don't really have anything to go off of and not very many accomplishments to name, but I see the importance of seeing what it's like to start at ground zero and I think it'd be kind of cool to show you that I have goals with this channel and then kind of have you follow along as I actually meet those goals. So when I was young, I had a dream and ambition to be a writer. That's really all I wanted to do from as young as I can remember. I was four years old, stapling colored pieces of construction paper together, illustrating my own little characters in my story, and having my parents write the words to the stories I wanted to tell. And then as I got older, that evolved to writing short stories and then obviously to writing some longer stories. I wrote a lot of things when I was in middle school and high school. These books I thought I wanted to publish. I wrote a whole series. It wasn't very good, of course, but I've just always had this desire and this interest in writing. And so that's kind of bled into how I am today, which is I still have a very strong passion for writing and I have a desire to write stories, whether that's stories of my own life, fictional stories, stories of someone else's life. I have this desire within me to write. There is this time when I was about maybe 10, maybe a little bit younger than 10, when I wrote this story that I thought I was going to have published. And it was a little children's book was what I wanted it to be. And it was a story about a girl publishing a book. I was convinced at that point that I was going to mail it off, send it to a publisher, and have them make copies and print it and distribute it all over the world for everybody to read, and that that would kickstart my career as an author. Now, obviously, I'm an adult now. I realize that's not realistic and that it's a lot harder than I thought it would be to not only get something published, but also to write something. And so with the demands of motherhood, renovating our house, my part-time job and everything else, it's actually really hard to find time to write, which is one of the reasons I want to start this channel. I want to start making an income that is not reliant on anybody but myself. My long-term goal would be to bring my husband home so that we both could write. And so my goal, even with starting this channel, is to give me the freedom, the platform, and the means to be able to fulfill my dream as an author. So I'd love to write children's fantasy books, young adult and adult historical fiction literature. I have a lot of stories I am interested in sharing and writing and publishing one day. So back when I started really talking to people about wanting to be an author or a writer of some sort, it was around late middle school and high school age. And I started telling my parents that I really wanted to pursue something that would let me write, whether that would be a journalism degree, some sort of editorial degree, something that would let me practice writing, but then also just enjoy it. At that point, I wasn't really sure that I wanted to be an author. I just knew I wanted to write. I was told by various adults that writing was not a viable source of income in any means, whether I was a journalist, an editor, really any sort of writer, that that would not be a substantial source of income and that it would always have to be a hobby of mine. I was told that published authors were one in a million and that my chances of publishing were very, very low and essentially that I might as well not even try. At that time too, I had a really strong desire to travel and that was also kind of used as a way to 
discourage me from wanting to be an author. I was told that you needed six figures to travel. I was told that if I wanted to travel, it really needed to be part of my career in order to do that. And that I just would not have that with being any sort of writer. So all that to say, I didn't, wasn't given a whole lot of direction when it came to career choice. So then when I went to start searching for a degree and start planning for going to college, this was around late high school, I decided at the end of it all to pursue a degree in accounting because in my opinion and from what I was told, that would not only provide me the flexibility I needed to be able to write, but would also potentially give me the ability to travel so that I wouldn't have to rely necessarily on money for that. Around this time in high school, I actually met my husband and he also had that same desire and passion for writing that I did. We ended up co-authoring a book. We self-published it through Amazon, but we just had a, a lot of interests that were the same. He also liked traveling. In fact, he was traveling and on the road at that point. He was really supportive of my dreams to become an author. We started dating and I started working at a local insurance firm part-time at as a backup receptionist. All this time I was working towards my accounting degree while also maintaining my writing alongside what would be my future husband. Now, as I was working at this little insurance firm, something happened that really changed and shifted my perspective. When I first started working there, I picked up on things very quickly. Now, that's not to brag on me or to say anything like that, but that actually allowed me to move up in the insurance firm much more quickly than I ordinarily would have. They ended up putting me in a marketing position and eventually I became in charge of all of their social media. I ended up becoming their marketing specialist Specialist, and my work tasks broadened very widely and all of a sudden part of my job now then included writing emails for newsletters, writing content for re websites, writing content for social media posts, writing instruction manuals, all of these sorts of things that I didn't even realize could be part of the type of job I was in. So that really opened my mind to writing didn't just have to be through a journalism degree or through a editorial degree or as an author that I could actually write as like a copywriter, a marketing specialist or a technical writer, that those were all valid jobs of employment that I could pursue in this job or another job. So I started realizing that maybe some of the things that people were telling me about writing weren't 100% true. A little time later after that, my husband and I got married. And what ended up happening soon after we got married is because we had kind of a sucky honeymoon, we decided to plan a trip to West Virginia. Now at the time I had a friend in West Virginia that I wanted to visit, but also I had a desire to boondock, which if you don't know what boondocking is, that is sleeping in the back of your car and traveling while staying in your car. You see a lot of it happening in the back of vans where they have these vans decked out like mini RVs and you boondock that way. I had a Tahoe at the time, so we did something similar to my Tahoe and we decided we were gonna go and boondock in West Virginia. We slept in parking lots, we slept in open fields. It was just a really beautiful, inspiring and exciting trip that I didn't really even think would be possible. When I had looked into it prior to getting married and talked to my parents about boondocking, they had acted like that that was not a good idea, that it was very dangerous, that people can't do that, that there really aren't allowances for that sort of travel. But in reality, there's free parking lots that allow boondockers to stay there. Boondocking can be very safe if done right. And overall, it's actually a valid means of travel. So I learned then too that even travel-wise, that there were inexpensive creative ways that I could travel, even just in the US if need be, that didn't require me to be making what I thought I needed to be making, which was around six figures, that I could do it on my measly little part-time job income. So I started putting these pieces together and what I realized is that what I had been told about my dreams and my passions weren't necessarily unattainable. That even though those things were hard or difficult, that I could in some way fulfill those desires. And so I ended up going back to college right after I found out I was pregnant with my first daughter. And I decided, despite everybody's advice, to pursue 
a degree in English. My husband works at the local university and that allows me to have some scholarship opportunities so that is how I was able to pay for college courses but I knew I needed some way to start pursuing this dream I had to be a writer and the best way that I saw to do that was to go to college for writing. At this point in my journey I have just had my second child. I am finishing up my last course of my degree so I am almost a graduated student of an English degree and I'm kind of on the next steps to pursuing the dream. I have to become a writer. I would love to build a following so that I can eventually publish and I would love to find a part-time job in the meantime that would allow me to be a copywriter, a technical writer, or a marketing specialist that would allow me to write and practice writing in my day-to-day -day life. My goal then with starting this channel is with obviously the hopes to support myself so that I can support that dream, to give myself a following so that I can promote the books and writing things that I present to the world, but then also because I want to encourage you if I'm able to do this and I'm able to publish my books and share them with you and people buy them and people like them and that's my job. I wanna show you that so that you can do the same thing. And if I'm able to start here at ground zero when I have nothing and show you what I do to get there, then maybe we won't have this stigma in society about dreams being too big and us just needing to follow the norm and go to our nine to five jobs. I want to encourage you to step outside of that box, unless of course that's what you want to do, which is perfectly okay. But for you who have dreams outside of that and you're looking for something more, I want to be able to show you that it's possible. Because if it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. So that's why I'm starting at ground zero with nothing, with literally just a camera and a mic and saying, this is my goal. It sounds super outrageous and I know it sounds unreasonable and unrealistic, but this is what it is. And I'm sharing it now when I don't have it so that you can see that when I have it, this is how I got there. This is the process. But I also came from this. That's what I want to do with this channel. Thank you for bearing with that rant. And I really hope that you're able to look back on this maybe in a year from now. And this actually maybe have manifest some sort of steps towards that success. Who knows? Maybe it's an example of how to fail. I don't know. Thank you so much for bearing with me. If you like this, if you want to follow along, and if you're interested to see what happens, please subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. I plan on sharing all aspects of everything from a day in the life to how to cloth diaper. If you're interested in that, hit the little notification bell, and I really hope to see you in the next videos. You have a blessed day, and thank you so, so much for coming to the end of this video. Bye now.